and this time the story is going to be of snake and the frog. You might have heard it, but listen to this story once again in John Sullivan's time. Okay, and what is important? The message and the message for the life. So this is the story of the snake and the frog. There was a pond where some new frogs have come and this snake is becoming older and older and older. He is becoming very lazy. He seems to have no energy. He is becoming, becoming a kind of lethargic. So he is not able to attack on the prey very easily. So he wants to come up with an idea that I should do something by which I do not have to work so hard to fill my stomach. And he has seen these frogs near by the pond. So every day he goes near by the pond, but he does not attack them. He just simply goes near by the pond and he sits there looking at the frogs very sadly. He's sitting very sad. The frogs one day observing why this snake is not attacking us. The second day also snake coming, very sad, very lonely, sitting there, but not attacking us. Third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, almost every day the snake is coming there and sitting very silently with a lot of sadness, with a lot of loneliness that one frog takes up the courage and he goes to the snake, excuse me snake uncle, I want to ask you something, it is said that the snake they eat frogs, but you are coming every day, you are not attacking us, you are not eating us, may I know the reason behind? And the snake said very sadly, yes, I will tell you a story behind it, recently I had bitten the son of a king and the son of a king was taken to a monk and on the way the son of a king died and that monk gave me the curse that I will not be able to attack any of the animals I will not be able to eat anything I will die hungry the moment the frog heard this story he believed on him and realizing that this snake is a friendly snake he will not attack so he went and said to the king of the frog Excuse me, King Uncle, that, that snake that is coming every day nearby the pond, no, he is not a harming snake. He will not attack us because he had been given a curse that he will not be able to attack any of the frogs and the animals. And when the frog heard this, the king frog went to the snake. Whatever I heard, snake, why is it true or what? And the snake said, yes, it is true. And the king frog said, with a lot of surprise and excitement, he said to the snake, Excuse me, snake, why? I have always desired, I have always dreamed that I want to sit on the snake and I want to have a snake ride. So, will it be possible for you to give me a snake ride? And the snake said, Obviously, yes, you can come and sit on me. I will not attack you, I will not harm you. Come, you can sit. And the king of the frog sits on the snake and they go for a beautiful ride and all the frogs they are observing, they are looking, they are watching and once this king frog comes back so all the frogs who are near by the pond and in the pond they said to the king uncle excuse me can uncle we also want to have a snake ride so can we also go tomorrow and the king said yes yes you can go and the next day you know what is the condition this is the snake and on the snake line by line the frogs are sitting and they are having a snake ride they are enjoying Okay, nicely the air is coming, they are nicely changing, wow, it's so nice, they are very happy, very cheerful. And after some time, the speed of the snake becomes very slow. And the king who was sitting in the front, he said, what happened snake? Why your speed has become slow? And the snake said, actually I am hungry, I want to eat something. And that is the reason actually I have no energy, I am not able to walk, I am not able to run so fast. So the king said, anyway, we want to have a snake ride. So you can do one thing, the frog that is sitting at the end of the tail, you can eat that and you can have energy. And the snake becomes very happy. And he eats one of the frog who was sitting at the end of the tail. And the second day, also the frogs are sitting on the snake. And again, the speed of the snake becomes slow. And the king's frog said, you can eat the frog at the end. The third day, fourth day, fifth day, it so happens that frogs are slowly, slowly, okay, they are being eaten by the snake. And at the end, there remains only one frog, the king frog who is sitting on the snake. As usual, they are having a snake ride. And the speed of the snake becomes slow. 
the snake says, I am hungry. And the king said, you can eat the frog at the end. And when the king frog turns behind, he realizes that there is no frog. And the mouth of the snake is on him. And very soon, he attacks on him. And he eats the king frog too. And with this, the snake and the frog story finishes with the two messages. The message number one, an enemy will always be your enemy. However nicely, however lovingly he talks with you. In our case, our enemy is not just someone with whom we fight. Our real enemy is the one who does, who does not allow us to grow. And it is not necessary that the enemy has to be others. We also can be the enemy of ourselves if we don't allow ourselves to grow. In the second message, the time will give you the time. When the snake eat at the frog for the first time, all the other frogs should become aware that our number will also will come. This snake told the lie that he, he, that he has been given a curse, that he won't be able to eat any the frog. But they didn't understood on time and slowly, slowly, slowly they were eaten by the snake. So once again, the time will give the time. Right now, let us understand that time for us is the exam. And if you understand that in any of the subjects we are weak, it is the time to prepare. If you don't prepare it on time, there may be a possibility of supplementary, there may be a possibility of not passing the exam, and there may be a possibility of sadness and our life can ruin. So please make use of your time. So please focus on the show once again, the snake and the frog, with the beautiful message, an enemy will always be your enemy and the biggest enemy is the person who does not allow you to grow and the second message, the time will give you the time, that means we do not have to waste the time. So have a wonderful day to you, thank you, like and subscribe to my channel, have a wonderful, beautiful and great day.